What's up you guys? Sierra and Sanaya here and in today's video we are going to be talking about our OTPs, our top OTPs that is, which if you're not familiar with that, the word of lingo among fans, it means one true pair. So there you go. And a lot of people might have them and don't even realize it, but we've had them for a while too and we've kind of built up a long list of like from different shows we've watched and a few movies. Mm -hmm. And we've watched a lot over the years, <laughs> so many. We had to really wreck our brain for these ones to come up with the top ones because I feel like there have been a lot of couples yeah. that I've liked. So let's just get into it. The very first couple is going to be Kara and Monel from Supergirl. And I feel like there were a couple, this isn't, keep in mind, this isn't like a ranked list. I'm not saying this is my top yeah. OTP. I'm just saying this is one of my top OTPs. Personally, I really like them. I started watching Supergirl last year, probably like March, about the same time COVID first hit. And I, I binged it. I mean, that was one of those shows that I could watch three episodes each day. And I knew that Monel was eventually going to come in because I had seen like some clips and I was just waiting for him to come in so that I could see their relationship in the show. And when he came, it was just, it was exciting. They were both aliens. You yeah, got to like watch it and understand. Yeah. Yeah. From different, they were from different like, um, planets. Yeah. You got to watch Rival it. Rival planets. Yeah. They don't look like aliens don't worry <laughs> but they were and they're both super strong they like just understood each other i thought it was a really sweet it was kind of like almost like enemies to lovers y'all know people out there loving that trope but it wasn't for it wasn't like full enemies cause i can't like of course their their planets were rivals but they weren't necessarily rivals they just didn't really like each other yeah yeah so i really liked it and i hope that you will give them a chance melissa benoist and chris woods are their actors they got married in real life so that's always a big plus. So it's just mm -hmm. like how they did in um, the 100. They got married in real life. Yeah. Mila Kunis and um, yeah. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. I yeah. think they might have split up though. <laughs> or was it Ashton Kutch? Sure, Mila Kunis. I don't. I it think was my y'all. You don't. <laughs> also, when Once Upon a Time, Jennifer Goodwin, Josh Dallas got married. Oh, yeah, a lot of people be getting married That's off these cute. shows. Yeah, it's nice. It's real sweet. Yeah. Right, so I think network. I'm gonna focus on more couples that we both know at first. So I think we're gonna move on to Michael and Sarah from Prison Break. Yeah, <laughs> all together the show. If you haven't seen Prison Break, it's such a good show. It's like up there with like I feel like personally up there like Breaking Bad and like Mad Men, but other people might not say so. It is. Yeah, I, like, it was just a really good show between like them planning all this stuff, and I really like their relationship because I feel like that Sarah and um, Michael like they had to come together do hard times and like slowly you kind of see how he starts getting feelings for her and how she starts getting feelings for him and she's trying to help him like she really cares for him because even when he's like in the cells and being hurt by like his cellmates like some of the guards you can see that she really cares and when like the prison goes on lockdown and like the prisoners are trying to get to her he protects her and, yeah, like that was like the i remember that was i think that was like season one yeah. like episode seven or something it was like really when i saw it i was like yeah oh these people these two are so cute <laughs> like they need to go the long run it was the whole season just their romance developing it was it was really sweet like it was almost like a forbidden love kind of thing and you know people seem to really be attracted to that and i guess i was attracted to that in that show and like yeah. i don't know maybe it was like just the whole bad boy good girl kind of thing even though he wasn't really a bad boy like he got arrested but it wasn't his fault so he wasn't well, it was kind of his fault, but like he wasn't, he didn't really commit a crime. So I wouldn't really say he was a bad boy, but it was kind of those vibes. It was just, it was sweet. Like to watch them watch out for one another. And in like the season that she wasn't in it, it was, ups it was just kind of, you know, yeah. upsetting. <laughs> just there were a lot of relationships in that show that were pretty good between like um, Suches and his girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Suche. I don't know. Yeah, Suche. 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 Was that Suche? <laughs> Uh, Fernando. Fernando Sucre. Sucre. Yeah. Sucre. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I watched his last year. I'm at, like, my memory mm. is gone. <laughs> and the Benjamin and his girl. And even this between the brothers. Like, they had strong relationships in that show. And they That's were built true. very well. They really, really did. Yeah. The next one, we're just going to kind of keep it. I feel like this is more of a popular one. Oliver and Felicity from Arrow. Y'all. Yeah. They're just so cute. I feel like out of all the... Like, the Marvel superhero shows that are out there, I think that they are my favorite couple. And that's putting them up against, like, you know, 
very oh wait I can't say that Carmine no they might be I might I think I like Carmine more than Elicity, but Rina. I feel like you like Elicity yeah. more than Cara and Monel or Carmel. <laughs> Even that shit name. I just think that beach, just their whole relationship, how they slowly built it. There was eight seasons at Arrow, and like they slowly built the relationship up, like season one and season two and stuff like that. People act like they didn't. Between like their cute, like teasing one another, and how he slowly starts to really care for her. It was sweet. And yeah. how he gave his, showed her his identity early on in it. Yeah, and he would like protect her, and she yeah. would help him out. I mean, everything was just, like, it was a sweet dynamic. He didn't really want her to get too involved with the stuff, with, like, the mess they had going on. Yeah. But she wanted to get involved. Exactly. She didn't want him to get hurt on the field. Like, in the, just between, like, them trying to work on the field together and having, like, that, the team, uh, Team Arrow around them. Like, Diggle, he was probably another, one of their biggest shippers he was, yeah. I've seen. But it was just yeah. a really cute um couple to me. Agreed. Probably my top one. I'm trying to keep these kind of going because it's kind of a lot of them. They really are. Yeah, we trying to trying to digest. I think next I want to go to Nathan and Haley from One Tree Hill. And I don't have to talk about that more because she hasn't seen that show much. But I've seen have... clip scenes, but okay. I never actually watched it. Honestly, I just think One Tree Hill is probably one of my favorite shows. And it was a show from like the early 2000s. A lot of teenagers don't even know about it that much anymore. But they were like high schoolers. And she was best friends to his brother. Yeah, I liked Luke and Peyton too, but yeah, that's also there were another good couple in the show. But then there's also Brookus between Brooke, Brooke and Lucas and Luke, as well. Yeah. yeah, it was just a whole mess. That's why I feel like yeah. Nathan and Haley's relationship was like most solid on that show. It was, and the most people would say like that they really shipped that. That was the strongest OTP on the show, and I, yeah, like she was his best, the best friend of his brother who they hated each other and everything, oh. and like, it was just like. See, how she still ends up getting with him. She kind of helps bring them together a little bit. The best friend of his brother? His brother's best friend? Yeah, they're like um, half oh, brothers. That's different. Brother's best friend? <laughs> I know. And Lucas and Haley honestly have one of the strongest um, girl best friend relationships I've seen. Like, I never shipped them at all. I just love, like, their friendship relationship. And, like, he was, she was like a sister to him before she met Nathan. But then she falls for Nathan. And eventually Lucas and Nathan get along. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I kind of cut. I know what I'm saying. I do feel like that she kind of helped them bring it together more, and that's that's all I'm gonna say for that show. Um, we should move on to that. <laughs> I for, I have JJ and Kiara listed up here, and this this is definitely a newer show. It's not even done yet. You know, a lot of these shows have already finished. JJ and Kiara are from Outer Banks, which is a Netflix series, and they're not even a couple. I've only seen the first season. They're not a couple in the first season, but they're a really big ship. A lot of fans ship them together, and I ship them together. And I like I don't know if it was largely me being influenced by other fans or if I was really shipping them together in the show. But just the whole, I really like their like their relationship. They're friends. They're good friends, and like they seem almost like um. I can't say brother and sister because that would be weird but like it's just a really close friendship and like, they can rely on each other and I feel kind of bad because like Pope already admitted that he likes Kiara Oof. and I know that Kiara and Pope could get together and if they are if they do I wouldn't be opposed to it because Pope seems like a nice guy but ultimately I would like for JJ and Kiara to end up together but we just have to see how that goes she, she seems like she's really there for him when he goes through hard times. Yeah. If you've ever seen, like, that hug scene. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> was hugs her. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can just tell like, he really does, like, care about her. And he feels like he had a connection with her. I think it's sweet. Yeah. So next, I'm going to move on to Rain. And I think we're going to go with, um, I don't know, Mary and Francis. I don't know if I can, but the thing is between that, cause we were just talking about this beforehand. I guess this is kind of like one that's up in the wind. It would be Mary and Francis or Mary and Bad. <laughs> yeah, there, there are a lot of good ships on that show. I even threw in Mary and Conde. I liked her with all the guys. Um, yeah, like so. That's, so maybe we just think that. Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe just like Mary. Yeah, Mary, she's just good with everybody. <laughs> but I also you know, Mary and Francis were kind of like des, not. They were kind of like destined to be together. Yeah. I mean, it was a prearranged marriage. And at the end, he really did seem to love her. She seemed to love him. And it was just kind of like a tragic ending. So that was really upsetting. And her and Bash. Very tragic. Yeah, that was like a forbidden romance. And so was her and Conde. That was also a forbidden romance. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know. The maybe there was some more appeal in it because of that. I think that all the guys she ended up falling for were just very nice guys. It seemed like they would take care of her, protect her. If you don't know what Rain is, like she was um a queen, Queen yeah. Mary of Scotland. So you know, this the fact that she's like queening, like getting with these other people. Francis was a prince at the beginning of this show. Like he became a king, I guess. And then like um Bash was his um brother, had his half brother. <laughs> and Conde, I don't remember who Conde was. Y'all can tell I didn't really care too much <laughs> <laughs> about that relationship. <laughs> Let's go off, I guess. I liked it. Yeah. Okay. The next one is going to be ugh, Georgie and Elvis from Our Girl. This one isn't, I think this one isn't as popular, but it did have four seasons. Yeah. So apparently somebody liked it. It was like a British drama. Okay, British? okay. I don't know. They did have <laughs> accents. Wasn't in they did have accents. It probably was British. UK. Um, oh, Lord. Um, what was I saying? Georgie. I really thought they were just like a, a cute couple that seemed to watch out for one another. They were both very attractive, which didn't hurt. They had like history together. And they were like in a little bit about the show. They were in like the army together. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're definitely going into a lot of dangerous situations. And I feel like they really had each other's back during those times, like defending them, even against like their own like members of the army. Just in a lot of dangerous situations that they're around. And also, like, the, that was season two, but in the original season one, like, I think Molly Dawes and, um, what's his name? Uh, Molly Dawes and James. Captain Charles James. I think he was also cute as well. Yeah, they had some good relationships on that show. So if you had a chance to watch it, definitely do Our Girl, Military Style Show. Okay. Next up, I'm going to have to say um, Lost, the show Lost, I'm a pretty popular show. Who I might say it might surprise y'all, but I actually really like Kate and Sawyer together. And don't come for me. <laughs> because no, I know like everybody went for <laughs> Kate and Jack. No, I actually think I liked Kate and okay. Sawyer too. Um, I just think their relationship, like, y'all, season three. <laughs> Come on, really just Oh, when they got kidnapped, yes, and yeah, and they were to get like in the cages, like that. Was, yeah, those some watch those scenes, guys. He always wanted to make her smile, like, and he called her freckles and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, if you a little bit about Lost, they were like on an island and, and stuff. They had doing a lot of like crazy situations, and I just feel like through all the craziness, saw you're. He was such a hard, like, bad boy type. Right. Yeah, that's what it was, I think. And Kate was kind of like herself, kind of like a broken type girl. She was like an ex-fugitive. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because she was going to jail and they stuff. They had a lot of just, history. Yeah. Individually. Like, lots so of Both of them kind of could, like, turn to each other for somebody to understand them. And I just didn't feel like Jack understood Kate as well. He seemed kind of like the perfect guy. Yeah. And like, Sawyer seemed like he would match her vibes better. Yeah. Just, like she said, she was kind of like that. And almost, she would, like, she would almost be jaded if she wasn't around the right people. Because she just had a lot of baggage. She seemed like yeah. she had been mistreated by some guys in the past or whatever. I don't know. It was all, it was kind of like another girl, good girl, bad boy um, situation, but yeah, I feel like that's a stretch. Really yeah, she's not exactly a good girl, but like at least on the island, everybody she's seemed to like her, boy. but not that many people seemed to like Sawyer, at least at the beginning. Yeah, that's so yeah, that was just, it was an interesting relationship, very interesting dynamic between the two, because they kind of it wasn't exactly haters or lovers, but like at the same, they didn't really like each other yeah, at the beginning. Didn't. But saw your big soul see him start getting feelings. I think a little bit before even Kate got feelings, like he just felt really comfortable with her. And there was like the other relationship that to me might come that I didn't like that much was between Sawyer and um the the blonde one, the, the uh, other girl, Julia. Yeah, Julia. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, I was like, I don't agree. Really I didn't like did that. Julia's character. <laughs> yeah. And she kind of, some people shipped her with Jack as well. It was yeah. a whole, it was a weird situation. Yeah, it was like a love square. Yeah. So. I'm mean, like captive and captor relationship. Yeah, type. I don't think they matched either that well either, but some people really liked them, so. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you can do your own. Um, the next one, I'm going to have to be basic and just say Katniss and Peeta. I'm going to throw that in there because I loved The Hungry Games and Was Out. I watched. I've watched every movie multiple times, read every book multiple times. It's just great. But I was that it was, I was going through that huge love of the series in middle school. So I don't know if like maybe if we're, I don't know if rewatching it or rereading it now things would be different. But it was just really good. So I don't know why, but I always just thought Peter was so sweet and she just had a lot of 
mess in her life and he's always treated her so nicely he could see past all her flaws yeah that's kind of like bad girl um good guy yeah, yeah good for guy. real you hardly you don't see much of that yeah he, the good guy won guys yeah because yeah. honestly i kind of shipped her a little bit with gail and y'all might be like oh my god it was like her brother best friend i'm like but <laughs> no he clearly <laughs> liked her <laughs> yeah he clearly did i could have shipped them together too i think um, he matched her a little bit better, just like history wise, her and Gail. But I just didn't really like, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't really like him that much. At the end, you guys, this is a spoiler warning, so you can, you can go ahead. But he was like, he made the bomb that killed her sister. I was, I don't, oh, I don't think weird. I can rock with that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's not but, cool, bro. <laughs> I know, that's a little crazy. Yeah. I mean, so through mentioning them, I guess we, I feel like we have to mention Tristan Floor from Divergent, so okay. I'm just going to throw them in there. I'm not going to talk. I mean, that's another popular one. I feel like that yeah. they're really cute. Four, really just like a uh, wonderful kind of, he's just yeah. <laughs> <like> biased. <laughs> yeah, but he just, his whole character, he was like a bad type guy. He really liked Tris, you know. He did. I like that too. She was like the... The newbie, the green bean coming into the scene. Yeah, and, the green bean. Yeah. At <laughs> C- certain points, I feel like he was trying to protect her. Yeah. I like, like, see where he almost... Yeah, like, with the, the off the ledge. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> and he, like, stopped right. him. Like, oh. Yeah, that was really sweet. Yeah, I love that. In the book, it was even better. <laughs> I'm just telling oh. you. Yeah, he actually picked her up in the book. And that, he just... They just walked out together. Oh. But. <laughs> Also, I remember, he, like, you just knew he was trying to protect her because he was like, when he threw that knife at her, and she was like, something like you, you hurt me, or like you could have killed me. And he was like, um, if I wanted to kill you, I would have, or if I wanted to hurt you, I would have. It was something. It was one of those, and it was just like you could tell that he cared about her deep down. So yeah, that was that's a good relationship too. All right, next though, I'm just gonna like mention briefly mention um, Lincoln and Octavia from The Hundred. Oh. And I really like their relationship. I like how both, I like just both of the characters independently. I think like when they came together, it was just really cute because a little about, about the hundred, like they were going to planet Earth after a hundred years. And it's just kind of complicated, but he was one of the people on the land and she came up from like the spaceship. So they're from completely different like world kind of from with different people. And it came together, even though they weren't like, really supposed to. Kind of like the one of those Romeo's really like, type of things. And then they really just fall for each other. Like, he really cares for her. He has, like, a sweet spot for her. And, like, at the very beginning, while everybody's just, like, he's an outsider, like, let's, even her brother is, like, nah, let's torture and get this information out of him. Like, she really cares for him. Uh, See, I never actually watched it. I only saw some clips. Of course, I saw, like, the most tragic clips in their relationship. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they were sweet. I could tell. Mm -hmm. A lot of the relationships in The 100 have just been sweet. Even, Clark and Finn, which was a pretty quick one. I really yeah, liked their relationship. I like that too. But I can't really say they were an OTP because I also ship her with Bellamy, so whatever. <laughs> Spoiler alert, but not really. Like, a lot of people die in that show. Yeah, a lot of people, so... You can't really get too attached to anybody. <laughs> the fact that Clark and Bellamy have made it this far. And yeah, but it's beyond me. <laughs> I know. No. I don't know. And they wrote that in explicitly. I don't know. I remember telling her, like, also, like, that show I mean, Lost early. I was, like, just thinking, I have to tell them how so many people are dying in a lot of shows. And Lost, like, just, they cut off a lot of characters. Yeah. From the first season to the last season, just to go back and look at how many characters went away. Maybe one day I watched Game of Thrones and then. I'll really see a lot of people die out. Okay, I'm, I'm like, sure. everybody says so many people died out. So, you know, mm-hmm. shows like this just brace you for the worst. And these other shows, Grey's Anatomy. I know. <laughs> Lots of people died in that one, too. I guess that's life, you guys. People just, they go on. Oh, yeah, Meredith and Derek were cute. I'm not going to get into them because everybody knows about them. <laughs> <laughs> they were cute. I want to, I feel like this is about to be the last one. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> she got a lot of OTPs. I'm just going to briefly mention Carla and Samuel from Elite because I really liked their relationship. I really did. And even though, like, it was very weird with them, like, dating other people, kind of, not, well, she dating somebody else and somebody else liking him. So you mentioned him and not Nadia and Guzman. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we they were talk really about cute Let's talk about them. They were. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they were both really cute. I don't know. I li- I just I just liked Carla and Samuel. Samu. 
I would liked it. They both had a lot of kind of just baggage, covering each other's secrets, washing out for one another, but like acting like they hated one another. I don't know. Okay. Kind of, kind of steamy. Steamy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, next one. Um, let me say, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about Poldark and Demelza, and basically the show is called Poldark, and it was like set in like the 1700s, I think. And he like takes her in as his housemaid, but he ends up falling off for her. Like y'all, doesn't that just sound cute already? Like, and his the ex-wife that he was, maybe he was engaged to her. But anyway, Harry, his cousin gives to her because she thinks he's dead. But come on, how you gonna get with his cousin? Girl, you that's how they did it back in the day. They used to get with the, their brother. No, her, it's not her cousin. She got with them. Poldark's cousin after she thought he died. I know, but that's how his people fiance. did it. He was back in the day. But I'm just saying, like, how you gonna do that? Like, he and him been dead for that long. <laughs> and well, she, she got him so quick. But she like, had Demelza, to secure the bag. I guess so. Back in the day. Women but the had Demelza, she had nothing. She came from scraps. She And he was like, he has, not, he wasn't rich, but he came from like a family of more means, I guess. And their just relationship was cute though, because like she just kind of came up. And she was, she was a very real character. She's probably my favorite character in the show. Poor Dad was a little, mm, little <laughs> he's a lady. I watched like, Charmer like one but, season, so yeah. that kinda, I liked it, but not enough to keep watching it. I, know. I wish the relationship had been even stronger. Cause but Porter, he was just a little too flimsy. Yeah, there's a but lot he was definitely going on. he was a catch. Uh, <laughs> Lots going on in that show. Nice looking guy. Next, I'm talking about um, Eddie and James from Blue Bloods, and that's just the police show. I'm gonna cope quickly with these last people. I feel like these are more like honorary mentions. Yeah, I guess slightly. so. I guess so, but the, I really did like this couple though. Eddie and James. <laughs> she said like a lot of couples. <laughs> I like they're really just a cute couple, you know. But you, they protect each other a lot. Just go to the scenes, like, you can just find like individual scenes from that show on YouTube of Eddie and Jamie and this, how they slowly fell for each other. Like, this has been, she came like in season four and now it's like season 11 or something. And they still, they were slowly building up a relationship and now like they are, they got married after a while. That's not spoiled. They're both alive. Wow. That's yeah, it's police show. I mean, I mean, like their lives are being threatened daily, but like they seem to care for each other so much. Like they're really scared every time they think they might have gotten injured or something. Like I don't know. So mm -hmm. next, uh, we're talking about. Um, I guess I just let's go into like the honorary mentions. I'm gonna say Grace and Tommy from Peaky Blinders. <laughs> I just recently saw some clips from Peaky Blinders. Ah, I just I know how that relationship ends. So it's too bad, I guess. Lots of tragic yeah. endings. Yeah, I can't really say I sh they're an OTP for me. I, I think that's why they're they're more of an honorary. I do I strongly like their relationship. But I want to say they're. <laughs> I don't know. They're cute. Yeah, they were cute though, and yeah. I really like the show Peaky Blinders. He wasn't cool. older. I feel like they're like probably one of the oldest couples. Or maybe he just looked like an older. He wasn't even know. What was he like mid thirties? Probably. He was okay. Scrappy looking. Mid but that's still one of the older couples on this list. A lot of these people are he like a lot, early twenties. You know? Yeah, he looked like it. He's in a good <laughs> People don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> He's so fun. But anyway. So, Rookie Blue. I'm talking Sam and Andy from Rookie Blue. Another police show. I don't know why I'm all in this police area right now. But I just feel like any show where their lives are getting threatened and the other people <laughs> are scared. Like, they're like, oh my god, I want to protect um, my couple. Like, my person. That's just so cute, you know? It is. This is a nice relationship. And he was, like, more experienced cop but she, she was like the rookie and he was like able to teach him stuff so yeah, oh that nice. is sweet yeah that's sweet, <laughs> i'm gonna have to watch that one myself now i'm gonna say jay and Haley from chicago pd another cute one you guys might not be that happy about I that i've seen some clips from them but... yeah because he was with um i don't know Haley came on later on in the series i personally i really like her character other people might not like her as much because it's like she kind of relate per place i can't remember her name right now um, she's that girl from One Tree Hill. <laughs> Y'all should know the brown haired girl. Brooke? She's Brooke, yeah. Uh, that's that's the person who plays the girl. The girl who played in was like Tracy Spiritacos. Yeah, that's yeah, Haley. Yeah. Yeah, Haley. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I thought that, that was a sweet relationship. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I like that. She had a mess going on at home, right? Yeah. Well, With the, her boyfriend or whatever. What show are you talking about? <laughs> in Chicago PD? Okay. No, no. This was this. She did have like a mess from some undercover work. Oh, uh, maybe because y'all haven't seen the show. I've only okay. seen scenes. Okay. Well, the <laughs> but if you guys want to see like some of the old undercover work that she did, that guy from Bosch, <laughs> the man from Bosch, like he was one of like, the guys. 
Yeah, <laughs> the show boss. Okay. Uh, he was one of the bad guys, and you know, Jay didn't like him because he was mean to Haley. That's so cute. Anyway, so another one I'm gonna mention is. You said it's gonna be the last one. I think so. <laughs> so it's gonna be Charlie and Jason from Revolution. Um, um, you guys probably don't know about that show too much. It did not get very big. It had two seasons. It should have more. I'm sure that some people are gonna become in the. Some people are gonna come and be like, Charlie and, and Monroe. <laughs> I should. What? Throw it out the window. Y'all, y'all were off out of pocket with that for that one. That age gap was. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. He was like. He, he was, was her uncle. Yeah, he's, his, his uncle's, uncle's best friend. Yeah, that was. Y'all were off. Like, for no reason. <laughs> y'all should have done that one. That was not even. I didn't even think that was the producers were trying to do. I know. Like, y'all just pulled that out. Yeah. Look that up because y'all could just see. I like Charlie and Jason. Yeah. And guess who plays that? Also, Tracy Screw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cute relationship. You get the chance to watch Revolution do. It's just like a very um different times. It's different times from now. Kind of feels like apocalyptic, but it's not. Yeah, not apocalyptic. But there's it's a mess show. going on in the world, and people Jerry's are fighting for their lives. And yeah, 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 yeah. pretty yeah. much. Very strange, but very interesting. I feel like that that rounds it out, right? The whole yeah, list. Yeah. It's been taking yeah. quite a bit of your time tonight, this evening, yeah, this you morning. <laughs> I mean, these are some good couples. Yo, we gave you guys a lot of ideas of shows mm -hmm. to watch tonight. Honestly, I hope you watch some of these and yeah. comment down below which of these are your favorite OTP. And if none of them are, comment what your favorite OTP is. We might make a part two. Yeah, got a probably, lot of shows out there. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. We so can like focus it on a specific genre or something like that. But yeah, like the video, subscribe, comment 20 below. likes, then we'll make a part whoa. two. Whoa, <laughs> that's risky. <laughs> that's bold. I know, that, that's real bold. Yeah, Anyways, <laughs> subscribe, join the family, hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. This